I... I remember something. What? What? I... I have no idea what's happening. No! No! She's trying to find her way to the kitchen? What? That's just mean. That's mean. Team deeper. Uh... But Hansel and Gretel were too clever for their mean old stepmother. They had sprinkled breadcrumbs in the forest behind them as they walked. And the clever children followed the breadcrumbs straight back home. What stepmother mean? It means that she wasn't the real mama. Why? Because if she was the real mama, she'd never want to lose them out in the woods. She just wants to give them big tickles. Come here, you! <laughs> mama! <laughs> what? Uh, hello, chipmunk. I, 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 ow, my brain hurts now. What was that? What was that all about? I don't even know. <laughs> the story of this game is getting bizarre. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. I I don't even know what is happening. It's just so weird. Such a weird sequence of just dreaming. Cause I, if my m mama acted like that lady, I would have been like, can I get an, an unadopted, can I like, can you just not go, can you go away, you're crazy. Talking about crazy tickles and stuff? So what's wrong with you? No, don't go out down yet, I need to get the memory. For what purpose? I have no idea. There it is. Remember something. Where's my mom? Mi sobrina. Why can't I see her? She's not... She's gone, Anna. She's with the other angels. Okay, so her mama died. Because she was talking about giving tickles and being weird. So yeah. Now we can drop down that hole that I found. So I think I was just next to it. Go back. I think I overshot a little bit. Let's go back. Was up here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, there's a memory here somewhere, and I gotta find it. What the shit was that? A little footprints or something. Boom, 
No, go back. Well, there's the exit. Uh, what's the weird twisties in the camera? I don't, yeah, I don't know how she's able to see. I, they keep flipping the camera and I can't tell where the hell I am. I think that might be the point of flipping around so you can lose track of where you were going. This game is called Resonance. It's what the uh, title of the stream says. No, there's no breadcrumbs to leave. Except for the money. No, god damn it. Memory up here somewhere. And yeah, the creator, the, the creator, the uh, publisher of this game is Wadjet Eye Games. The same people that made, uh, that made, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Gemini Roo. Breadcrumbs. Start marking my way. Man, stop flipping around like that. That's the way I went. What the shit? Uh, 365 pesos. Mm -hmm. I'm rich. Okay, I went down that way, so let's try going this way this time. There it is. I remember something. Papa! What I tell you? I said clean up this room! No, Papa, you didn't! Don't you talk back to me! You know what I have to do to keep food on our table? I don't have time to clean up after you, you little brat! But, Mom! You don't have a mama anymore! Okay. So the monster is her abusive father. Makes sense. Kind of like the storyline of um, the one game that came out not so long ago with the the boy and the monster. The PlayStation 3 game. I can't remember what name, but something and someone. Peter Bears or Papa? Not really. Hopefully, 
hope we find that vent quickly. Not that way. Hello, headshot. There. Whoa, wait. It's a big old mouse trap <laughs> with her teddy bear on it. Clever. That's why you want to do 1080p, because 1080p doesn't go through a transcode server. Like the other one does. Let's go the other direction. I saw that breadcrumb there. And there, though. Gotta find the exit. Where or where are they? Oh, there it is, right there. I must have dozed off while looking at Uncle Javi's journal. Wait, I remember something. The cipher. What was that sound? Is someone in my apartment? Damn it! I must have left my cell phone in the kitchen. I can't let them get in here. Lock the door. Damn! The door doesn't have a lock. Push the bookshelf over. Can, can, can this help me? How? Push the shelf? Which way? Right. I can push the bookshelf to block the door. <laughs> There! That'll slow him down. Seems to be doing the trick. I better not mess with it. I don't need to set my alarm clock. I need to get out of here. Window. Help! Please, help me! Hey, shut up, lady! Please! There's someone in my apartment! Hello? Go down. This fucking city. I've got to get off this fire escape quickly. Ah, oh, great. Mechanism. Why uh, the Mexican doesn't seem to be doing anything? I could, sh I should try the handle. The handle came off. Oh god. The pounding stopped. That's what she said. Uh oh. Go up the ladder. Ah! <laughs> Go up the ladder. <laughs> okay. Bordered window. I'm not going to be able to break these boards. Ladder. I can't lift that with my bare hands. I will need to be hoisted to the mechanism to pull it. Okay. Mechanism handle. Wow. 
Why are we going to the roof? Uh, rope? I could cut the rope, but not with my bare hands. Uh, broken window. Shard of glass is loose. I could cut. Oh god. Sounded like Whoa. Help! Somebody! I'll have to cut him off. Broken glass on the rope. Oh god, oh god, oh yeah, come on, get it, get it, get it, girl, get it, come on. Do that shit. Oh, Anna! Ed! Detective! We're gonna get you out of here. Come on, let's go. Okay... Are you okay? I will be, thanks. Who was that man? And why was he chasing me? I don't know, but listen, we need to get rid of him. I don't see anybody. If someone was following us, we must have lost him. Well, that's something, at least. We're going to stay here for a little while, figure out what to do. Who's this right there? Urban You're safe man. with me, Anna. Look, I'll just go and call this into the station. We can dust your apartment, figure out who that scumbag was. No. Ed. Anna, the note we found in your uncle's journal... What? What note? What are you not telling me? Anna. Maybe we should trust him, Ed. What note? It's up to you. I don't think we have a choice, Ed. We're in way over our heads. We need to trust somebody. Look, you might not know it yet, but I'm one of the good guys. So how about some answers? Okay, okay. You're both right. I'm sorry we were keeping you out of the loop, Detective, but we had to. You had to, huh? We found this note from my uncle. And you thought this meant me? We couldn't be sure. Look, that explosion in the lab was no accident. Dr. Morales was working on a powerful new technology, and someone used his own technology to kill him. If Dr. Morales has a vault somewhere with more of this technology contained inside, we need to secure it before anyone else can get to it. I really should report this. No, you can't do that. If Morales was right, and someone on the force was after him, Please, Detective, just give us 24 hours. Help us. Surely you've broken a few regulations in your time. Ah, well, you got me there. 24 hours. No more secrets. Deal. Good, because I got a couple questions need answering. Ask away. Uh... You'd better tell us what all the hubbub is about. What did Morales create? I'll show you. Using the lab's super collider, Dr. Morales discovered a new type of twin particle. The particle always comes in pairs, a positive and a negative, yin and yang. Bound together, they form the substructure of the electron. These two particles actually occupy the same space by vibrating through space-time. We call this vibration resonance. Let's uh, pretend that all made sense. What's the big deal? The big deal isn't knowing that these particles exist, it's in what you can do with them. Dr. Morales was designing resonance devices that could neutralize the effect of resonance, allowing you to separate the twin particles. Two particles, two devices. You can place these devices some distance apart and then release the particles trapped inside. The particles instantly snap back together, collide in the exact center, and release a large amount of energy. Anything within a certain area of effect is completely pulverized at an atomic level. 
The further you pull the particles apart before disabling the devices, the larger the area of effect. In fact, uh, Dr. Morales and I developed a precise formula predicting the inverse relationship. All right, all right. So you take two devices, separate them, and when you shut them off, whatever's in the middle goes boom. Well, yeah. You could have just said that. <laughs> So what you're saying now is that the explosion in Morales' lab was not an accident. The way that hole was cut out of the lab, it had to be a resonance weapon. But Dr. Morales couldn't have caused it himself. An event of that size would require two very precisely placed devices miles apart with the lab in the center. This was no accident. So what's in this vault? I didn't even know of its existence until earlier today, so I can't be sure. But I'm guessing it's a repository of all his research into resonance particles, including his designs for the resonance devices used to separate them. Maybe even prototypes. Whatever is in it, it's dangerous in the wrong hands. And now that Dr. Morales is dead, it's just out there waiting to be found. But we're gonna be the ones to find it. So what would a resonance weapon look like? Dr. Morales was designing these resonance devices for peaceful applications. But, weaponizing them would be fairly simple. The devices would be pretty small, softball size maybe. By placing a device on either side of a target, calculating the distance required to achieve the intended area of effect, and synchronizing their release with some kind of uh, radio detonator. Or a cell phone. Sure, or a cell phone. You could take out anything you wanted to. So I could place resonance devices, say, in a doorway, and vaporize someone's heart as they walk through. Well, <laughs> it's not technically vaporizing. Well, pull them farther away and erase the whole building from existence. I suppose. If I mounted these things on planes or satellites, just how big could you make this blast? Well, there's no theoretical limit. My god. So this vault has to be destroyed. What? No! Unlimited destructive power. Are you kidding me? No, that's only if the technology is used incorrectly. Anna, your uncle wanted these resonance particles to bring about a new age of peace and human prosperity. Imagine it. Unlimited clean energy, faster than light travel, instant communication over unlimited distances. This was your uncle's dream. You can't let that die. No, I'm not gonna let you put this woman in danger. Or did you already forget that someone tried to kill her tonight? Enough! All this talk is pointless unless we find the vault before the people who killed my uncle do. My uncle left this task to me with his last words. So whether we destroy the vault or make sure the research gets into the right hands, the choice is mine. Is there a problem with that? Good. Now, Ed, how do we find this vault? Well, um, my best guess is... Shut up. Get behind me. Come on out. Hands where I can see him. Okay, okay. Don't shoot. I'm coming out. Howdy, folks. It's me. I told you someone was following us. Who are you? My name is Ray. Ray Abbott. I was just walking through the park. Goddamn Ray. Is he with them? With who? I swear, I'm alone. Wait a second. You look familiar. Wait. The hospital. You walk by us in the hospital. Were you listening to us there, too? Okay, look. I'm a journalist. The Abbott Post? Online? I was at the hospital working on another story, and I heard the two of you talking about this vault and how the police may be involved. I smell the story, so I followed you guys. Ray Abbott! I've seen his picture in the news! You're the guy who wrote that story about the vice president. One in the same. Great, a fucking blogger. <laughs> Investigative journalist? I want to help you. No, no more people. It was supposed to just be Anna and me. Well, I guess if I can't stick around, I could just run with what I've got so far. You son of a bitch. Look, you don't know it, but you need me. Yeah, right. You need information, right? Well, that's my bread and butter. I have contacts. People who live under the radar. You need to know something, they can get it. Crooks, you mean. I've exposed more bad guys than you ever will. Now look here. <laughs> no, he's right. We need his help. You sure? Yes. And if there is corruption in the police force, we could use his blog to help expose it. It's not a blog. 
It's a reputable news source. I swear to God, if you step out of line... I get it. You can trust me. The day I trust a muckwrecker like you. Ooh. Guys, we're not gonna get anything done tonight. There's a motel on the corner. Let's cool off, get some rest, and think about our next move. We'll regroup right here in the morning. Agreed. <laughs> What's this? What the? The reporter is following you. Get rid of him. Hey! Give that back. That's none of your business. Wait, what? What was that all about? Alright, let's go over this plan. Ed? To find and open Dr. Morales' vault, we need three things. One, the vault is most likely hidden somewhere inside Juno Laboratories. My guess is it's in one of the many underground tunnels. So, we'll need a blueprint of the lab. Blueprints of all major buildings are on file in the city archives, which is in the police administration building. Two. Even with the blueprints, we're going to need some kind of information on the vault to help us figure out exactly where in the lab it might be. Jimmy Olsen? It's simple, Detective. We follow the money. Somebody had to build this vault, and it probably didn't come cheap. I have a contact at the National Credit Service. He can get anyone's financial transaction history. If we can find the guy who sold Morales the vault, maybe they can help us find it. <laughs> and three, we need to figure out how to open the vault. Anna, that part's up to you. My uncle's last words were, your uncle holds the key. Besides Javi, I only had one other uncle. He's buried near my parents in All Saints Cemetery. There may be a clue about this key there, but... Ed, I'd like you to come with me. Oh, uh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Alright, we'll split up. Remember, no talking to police and no posting stories on your blog. It's not a blog. Good luck, everyone, <laughs> and thank you. It's not a blog. Okay. Quartet. Um. So is this a typical day for you, Ray? Hmm? You know, poking your nose where it doesn't belong? Oh. I belong here as much as you do. For now, maybe. Okay, um. I guess we will start with. The reporter dude. He needs to go to National Credit Systems. The hell is the red curtain for? You in there, Ozzy? Behold, the great and powerful Oz. <sighs> Stuck? Oh, God damn it! Come on. There we go. Behold. Oh, <laughs> what the? I already said that. <laughs> Tin Man. Hey, Ozzy. I was wondering when you'd come and see me. <laughs> what the shit? Long time no see, Ozzy. No kidding. I haven't seen you since that thing we did regarding that person. <laughs> yeah, that was something, wasn't it? So I thought you had forgotten about your old pal, the wizard. I never forget my friends. So, you got some new digs, huh? Yeah, when the government reorganized our agency, I didn't know where I'd wind up. But, here I am. New building, new cubicle, new cavalcade of red tape and bureaucracy. Same old grind. Are you still managing financial record databases? The largest in the world. Excellent. Still connected, then. Where are you going with this, Ray? Um... Kinda need a favor. Are we okay to talk here? Just keep your voice down. I need another one of your little favors. I need the financial records of a man who recently died. Dr. Javier Morales. Well, that's going to be a problem.